So I've been and bought a new seat. I've bought the two attack low seat of one of our followers, Keith. So that's the standard under seat, which is like sitting on a plank. It's that uncomfortable. Plus I wanted it a bit lower. So that's the profile. There, if you have a look. That's the profile of the Honda seat. And that's the profile of the two attack seat. So there's quite a bit of a difference. What I'm finding with the Honda stock seat, it's got a lot of sponge. I cut the sponge out, but I've put it back in. It's got a lot of sponge in it, but it's not comfortable. And what I'm finding is it's quite wide here. So it's not so much the seat height what's a problem. What it's doing is it's forcing my legs out more, which is making it harder to, to flat foot. So I went for the two attack. They're about 500 quid. And I got it off Keith. Keith Blundell, one of our followers. He had it, he was selling it, so it was nowhere near 500 quid. It's like brand new. So we're going to try it out. Well, let's put it on the bike. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. That's the two attack seat fitted. So it's more scalloped out here. This bit's wider to get your bum on. And this bit's a bit more narrow. So it's got more more cupping at the back. But the profile looks looks really good. I like that. So what we need to do now, I need to go out and try it. See what it feels like. Alright then. So we're gonna try out this seat. Oh what a lovely morning. It's the end of October. Look at that for the seat. Look how it's scooped. So we're going to see what it's like. I've also got, I've fitted my highway pegs. So at least on long journeys now, I can put these out, put the back of my calf on them and stretch my legs. So I do seem to suffer with my knees. Long distance, they ache. But, Let's go and try this seat. And already it feels snug. It cups, it kind of um, cups the shape of your bum. And I found um, with the NT1100 I had when I went to France a couple of years ago that that was the best seat I'd ever been on. And that was quite an hard seat. And then what I found is, is this two Rotec low seat also is quite hard. And what I found with the stock seat, it was quite, quite thin. So sitting on it, I would feel the plastic fraying through the sponge in the back of my leg. So although it was more sponge, it wasn't any comfortable wasn't any more comfortable, should I say. Now I do feel a bit more in the bike with this and I do like that, um, I do like the feeling of sitting in the bike instead of on top of the bike. Obviously now uh, I've got this low seat actually, I don't seem to be getting the buffeting. I was kind of getting a bit of buffeting on this helmet. I thought the wind was coming off the top of the screen and it was getting under the peak and pulling my head back. But I think now I'm a bit lower, I think I've just got out of that buffet zone. Yeah, I've not got any, uh, I was going to get a vibration going, just at the top. Yeah, this seat does feel, uh, does feel nice. I can't feel any hard pressure point areas. Well, on the standard seat I could, I could feed it digging in the back of my leg right by my buttock oh yeah I've got to try my uh, 
I need to try my eye way pegs out, don't I? Wait, hold on, that's one out. That's two out. What? Oh, look at that. I wonder if you can see. Oh, that's just great, that is. That will come in handy on the long roads. I can also just put one foot up. If I want to just stretch, stretch my hip. I was concerned my crash bars were too high. And I wouldn't be able to get my foot up on them. But they feel alright actually. I can even just do one leg at a time. Yeah, that's going to come in handy, that is, for uh, our next tour, next summer. I think they were for £39.99, I think, off Amazon. Not right, nothing special. Just on a little U clamp that goes around the bars. And that's what I've noticed with these seats. It's not so much the height. I've noticed my VFR 800 was the same, and that's, that was a lot lower. It's the part what's between your legs, how wide that part is, is how it throws your legs out. It's that what makes it uh, hard to flat foot. Not so much the height of the seat. Where this seat's uh, a lot more wider on your bum, but the bit between your legs is thinner. So my legs aren't sprayed out so much. We used to fly around here in the summer. And the roads was bone dry. Oh, what that property! Oh, I reckon you could have an amazing house there. Cut all that down. You have a fantastic view out of that. Nice big triple garage. TV, leather sofa. Log burner in there. There we go. Safe passage. sitting down in this seat it's like it's moulded to the shape of my bootox so am I happy with this seat? yep so thanks to Keith Blundell one of our followers I saw it advertised on a Honda Cross Tour Facebook group inquired about it recognised the name and that's when he replied and he says yeah I follow the channel so Keith thank you buddy it's an amazing seat well happy with it a brilliant investment well, I know Honda do their low seat but I'd imagine it would be similar to their standard seat, but it's got that same foam in. So I'd imagine that might get a bit uncomfortable, but this... Yeah, it feels nice. It seems to be in all the right places, where the sponges. And I have heard and read quite a few times that... You know, people put these air cushions on, and apparently I've heard the softer the seat, the more uncomfortable it'll be and at the harder the seat the more comfortable they are then I've got a cell found on my fire blade and on my VFR 800 never had any problems with the seat being uncomfortable and they were like six, sitting on a chopping board but then again you are more leaning forward I think on these bikes because you're upright there's more there's a more uh, weight you know, vertically right down on the bottom of your spine on your coccyx. 
and that NT1100 it was a comfort seat but it was it felt like this you know, it wasn't it wasn't that soft it was quite firm and I think it's all down to is where you know where the where the foam is you know everybody's got a different shape arse and the legs or whatever But this definitely feels right for me. Even cornering, I feel like I'm, I'm being gripped in the seat. On the original seat, you know, you would slide a bit on the seat. Well, I've been happy with that. Right then, it's time to go. I'm happy with the seat. Definitely worth it, would definitely recommend it. I don't think you can buy these anymore new. The low seat. I know two of tech have still got the standard seat. Um, but if you are considering one, I think it is worth it. It's made a massive difference for me. So I think if you see one going second hand, you're obviously going to get one a lot less than 500 quid. Right. So until the next one, Usha, Boucher. Well, let's have a look now. Is she going to need a clean? Oh yeah, she's monkey. I suppose I might as well give her a blast over today, why she try? At least she can at least she can dry out in the sun. These are brilliant these are. Loving them. You know, I suppose you don't see and you shouldn't have highway pegs on an adventure bike. But it's all about the comfort for long tours. Right, I'm going. See you on the next one.